Whew. Cold day out here today. The Waterman's Foil Garden. Figured I'd ride out back of the shop today. Uh, I want to try out back to back the um, BSC 1060 500 tail to the BSC that's the 970 and then I put on a couple of the other free ride tails the 440 and the 400. You know this stuff uh, looks uh, really user friendly. I haven't used any of the big ones yet but uh, big stable super user friendly. Red fuselage, short 680. The standard fuselage is like 760 millimeters. Like that's just too big. With this giant tail and stuff, you're just not. I just don't think you're gonna need it. We'll see. Um, 75 mass. Uh, taking out the uh, Ocean Rodeo Glide four meter, and um, yeah, gonna go freeze my butt off because it's cold today. But uh, gonna try this stuff out and um, switch it up. See what we think. All right. BSC, uh, what's this one? 1060, BSC 1060, big boy. Uh, that's like an 1800 square centimeter um, front wing. This uh, 500 tail, I think, is a monster. I was like, oh, this thing is gonna be so slow and super draggy. And I have to say, I was totally impressed with this rig. Um, it rides a lot better than I was anticipating. Much smoother, like I was expecting a lot of whistling, tons of drag. And it just is easy, like, and not like draggy, and, and it's, you know, it comes up on a foil real comfortably, but just real, it feels like fairly nimble, like stable and controlled, but fairly nimble. Like, I, I was, I'm blown away by how well this giant tailwing works. Uh, my assessment was right on the, the fuselage line. Going with the short fuse over the standard fuse, I think is the right call. The standard fuse is just going to make this thing just feel locked up. Like, you know, you're, you know, I don't, me, I don't really see unless you're windsurfing or something like that that you need that really long fuse. And then the, sticking with the short fuse will just give you more versatility. It's plenty stable for a beginning, but then we'll give more versatility as you're learning. So I'm going to change up the tail. I'm just going to go all the way down to the 400 to give that thing a shot. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll go all the way down to the 400 just to see how kind of how much it loosens up. Um, just because it's cold out, I got to get through some uh, through some wings here. It's a cold testing day. weekend but man it's cold today uh yeah so bsc 1060 i went to the uh 1060 uh i went to the 440 tail you know i just wanted to try i think that's gonna pair better for what most people are riding and it's really nice such a beautiful setup uh super easy to ride that's what i love about this setup um particularly like you get it towards the top where most wings are just gonna accelerate and blow out and cavitate <sighs> crash this thing gets to the top, doesn't you don't really feel that surface chop that much. It just kind of cruises very easy. Uh, the 440 tail did make it uh, turnier, much turnier for this wing. It's not a fast wing with this big tail on it, but real smooth and nice. Not not really much humming like I was finding with some of the progressive tails. Um, granted, I was probably going faster, but uh, really great setup. I definitely 
uh, the short fuse at 680, red fuse, that's the way to go. Uh, that the, the standard one I think is just gonna be way too long. Um, but really nice setup. I'm gonna switch down to the uh, broad spectrum 970 and uh, keep that 440 tail on. And then if I get a chance before it gets dark, I'll go to the 400 tail on the 970. Stoked, these things are really fun. With a 440, this thing is fun. Uh, I think it's like 15, what's it say? 1572 square centimeters. Definitely lots of fun. Has a still like real easy user friendly setup like the uh, like the 1060 does. Um, just quicker, turnier, kind of predictable. You, you know what I expected. Uh, 440 is a great tail match for it. Um, comes on foil easily. Good kind of angle attack and loving these uh, BSCs and bigger sizes. Just really fun and easy. Getting kind of windy, kind of dark. Gonna change that last tail. Give it a. Ooh, oh, this is, gonna change that last tail and uh, see how it goes uh, with the 400 uh, free ride tail on there. All right. Gotta get in before it gets too dark. one fun sash so finished up on the uh, broad spectrum 970 uh, and the 400 free ride tail that thing is fun that thing is super fun uh, definitely like the the feel and the ride uh, very cruisy turny easy to ride like just super user friendly doesn't pump like the HPS it definitely doesn't pump like the HPS but it's not supposed to it's supposed to be for carving and cruising and the big sizes you know uh, I feel are really great wings for beginners because you're not going to grow out of them like I I mean I've been winging for a little bit and I this thing is great I'm really enjoying it um I was surprised with the bigger fuse too the six uh six uh what is it 680 fuse the short um I was expecting it to be stiffer than it was even with the 500 tail so kind of surprised that it wasn't quite as stiff as expected so um overall really impressed with how this stuff is riding um i think that the this rig right here you know with the red fuse broad bigger broad spectrums free ride tails like that's just such a great entry level stuff that you could ride that for most level riders for as long as they want to ride and knock her out of it you could drop in a progressive tail smaller one like a 400 if you want to go a lot quicker you can definitely get um you know uh get you know one of the hps wings for more gliding and pumping but this thing as an overall is just like whew, super fun um upwind isn't as great as the hps um but it, you know it still goes up wind fine it's the foil so it's gonna go wind but you know i, I was definitely impressed and it makes me want to ride it more which i was expecting to ride it review it and put it to bed but i think i'll be riding this thing some more so uh stoked on first impression on these things and uh more to come Phew.